so the biggest mistake I made was um, buying on appreciation, meaning that I, I followed the hot market, right? Back in 2006, 2007, there was this thing called uh, appreciation love, uh, like basically it was new construction. And I would put down $20,000 on a contract and before they were done building it, it was pre-construction, that's what it was. But before they were done building it, it would increase like $40,000. I'd sell the contract and make the $40,000 spread. Well, that only went so far until the music stopped and then boom, I was stuck holding the bag. And I couldn't cash flow, so I bought the properties, but I didn't understand why I couldn't, why some areas did good and why other didn't. And so one of my mentors, a good friend of mine, Rich, he came down and he said, you know, miss, look at who was buying the properties, what jobs are there? So he taught me to look, see, and feel. And he said, everything is tied into jobs. Tampa did better than any other market that went down when the crash happened. And I had to reflect why. So think about Tampa. What does Tampa have in it, Adam? What do you know really about Really nice Tampa? locales. Yeah. <laughs> Locale. But uh, what, what jobs are there? Do you know? Or what, what is there? <laughs> I, I, I couldn't tell you. Vacations. Just vacations, right? So it has an airport, right? It has the resorts, right? But aside from that, it also has a military base, a very large one. It has um, a lot of the banking servicing moved down there. Um, the, you have a diversified economy because they have some banking, they have customer service, and they were rebuilding the river walk back then and the military base, and they had some manufacturing going on. So I didn't understand that until, of course, I lost all my money. So one of the ways that I now look at it is look at citydata.com, okay? So if you Google that and you put in the MSA, or that's the um, city that you're looking at, it will give you a lot of the demographics. Now you don't want the demographics like most people think of, like uh, family size and um, race or any of that. What you're looking for is actually the economic factors that make that city up. One of the reasons why Pittsburgh does so well is because it has Heinz. It has a very diverse economy. It has, um, so like a mini Silicon Valley up there. They have, Mel um, what's that college, Mike? Um, Carnegie Mellon, right? Um, it has the Uber testing for driverless cars. It has Bayer Aspirin. It has a list of um, jobs. So whenever a market goes down, jobs is what will save you. One of the, um, it, it will create an increase in population, not a decrease, okay? Which is what you're gonna see in New York and what you have been seeing in Connecticut till recently, okay? So you're always going to look for uh, the job market first. And city data has quite an extensive uh, area on that. So if that helps you out, okay?